Guten Tag everyone, this is Aim from Android Dissected and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Periboard 805L. It was sent to me by a very nice uh, German company, Perix, here, and it is a foldable Bluetooth keyboard which is incredibly useful if you're typing on the go. And the best thing about this is that the L here stands for large keys, so you get proper desktop style typing instead of most Bluetooth keyboards which use really really tiny keys so typing on that is really a pain. So this is the box itself. Um, at the front here you can see it's compatible with pretty much every operating system. Vista, XP, 7, 8, Apple iOS, Android. And um, what's really annoying, sorry, is that this Vista is before XP, even though XP was released before Vista, so <clears throat> the order is really messed up, and that's that's annoying. I don't even want to look at that. There we go. So it uses Bluetooth 3.0, and it has some really cool features in terms of the keyboard itself. It uses um, flat scissor key style uh, keys layout, so typing on this is really enjoyable experience. You get a lot of tactile feedback, especially compared to those silicon rollable keyboards. Uh, you can't get any tactile feedback from those keyboards. You don't know if you've pressed the key or not. This one you get really nice tactile feedback. And it also has a rechargeable lithium ion battery. If you use it continuously, um, you can get about two to three days of use. Um, but of course it depends how often you use it. it uh, the battery charges up in about one to two hours if you charge it from the main power supply. But if you use your laptop or tablet to charge it, it will take a bit longer, probably around three to six hours. It also has a 10 meter receiving distance, which is pretty cool, but if you're gonna use this with your phone, then there's really no need for you to go that far in the first place. Just gonna un there we go. So in the packaging here, you've got your Bluetooth keyboard. I'm put that to one side. And in the box here, you get your micro USB cable, which you can use to charge the keyboard. And you also get this um, user manual. Just This just tells you how to pair it with your computer or your Android device. And that's it, really. Not much to it. Now, how about a magic trick? gonna make this box disappear. It's, it's gone. Anyway, so got my keyboard here. It's quite light and it's quite thin so it's quite portable because of that and although this is a plastic construction compared to some of the other keyboards on their website which use aluminium, this does feel quite solid and quite sturdy. I mean doesn't feel cheap at all. It's folded in half right now, but you see this little hinge, you can use that to open it up. And you get the full typing experience. This is quite a big keyboard. It's bigger than a 10 inch tablet when laid side to side. And you get a nice, comfortable typing experience on this. So I'm gonna fold it back in half, show you the edges. Uh, on each corner, you get this sort of rubber um, grip padding. And since it's on each corner, when you fold it in half, you get four in the middle. So open it up, you get four in the middle. And it does help quite a lot with the grip, so you can't push it forwards or backwards easily. On the left side here, you've got your switches and buttons, as well as a micro USB port. And <clears throat> this confused me for a lot longer than I would like to admit uh, on camera because I thought this was the off switch and that was the on button because of the word placement. So I just sat there for about 10-15 minutes staring at this wondering why you would have a separate button to turn it on and then a switch to turn it off because it just didn't make sense. What actually, um, what this actually is, this is the on off switch and this is the pairing button which you can use to pair your keyboard with the tablet or phone and that is a micro USB port which you can use to charge the keyboard up with. Uh, pairing is ridiculously simple, you just turn Bluetooth on your tablet or phone and 
then it's going to recognize the keyboard and ask for you to type a key. So usually number, so you just type in your number, press enter, and then you've paired with the device. You get LED indicators on the top left here next to the escape key. The top one is to show you uh, whether caps lock is on or off. Uh, the middle one is pairing indicator to show you whether it's pairing. I can show you that right now. Just flick that switch down, turn it on, and then press the pairing button. And you'll notice that the pairing light is on. Once you've paired with the device, the light itself will turn off. So that's a good thing. I'm just going to switch it off. And at the bottom here, you've got your battery indicator. So, um, all in all, I think this pretty decent keyboard. You get very nice tactile feedback. You can see that the key style, really nice. And it's a lot uh, easier to clean as well. This is primarily used for Windows uh, laptops and computers because it's got dedicated Windows key. And it doesn't have any specific Android related function, so you can't use function and any button to do print screen or press home or search like you can on some other keyboards. Um, for example, here on the Prime, you'll notice that it's got dedicated keys for home and search as well as um, at the top here you've got music controls and um, volume controls and unlock and lock. You don't get any such thing with this keyboard. And also, um, I did find that the button placement is a bit strange. You'll notice that the tab key here, uh, sorry, the, t the tab key here is really, really small, but the T is absolutely massive. And over here on the right, the backspace in the top right corner, it's really, really small, and it's often quite difficult to press. The delete key is at the bottom here, so it does take a while to get used to that placement. And of course, the N is a bit big, and so is the H and the G. Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to help with the hinge and opening and closing it, but it is a bit strange and it does take a while to get used to. Um, you can check out the full review over on Android Dissected. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Zayn Siddiqui over and out.